Now welcome back ladies and gentlemen to my another political episode for today and thank you so much for watching this video. Even before we go straight into our analysis, I'm just requesting you, just in case you're currently watching and you haven't subscribed, to please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. You can also go ahead and press the notification bell down below so that you may receive the notifications automatically from YouTube immediately I post a video on this channel. Otherwise, to my returning subscribers, I really want to appreciate you for your continued support. Basically, without that support, this channel cannot be where it is currently. That is why I really don't take your entire support for granted. So feel very much welcome as you watch this video. So I just want us to talk about the real issues based on the facts, based on the observations uh, concerning yesterday's demonstration rallies in some parts of the country. So yesterday, the Azimio no Moja Alliance top most leaders had their own way or their own strategy of organizing themselves and dividing themselves into groups so that they can lead the demonstration rallies based on their regions. Like for example, in the larger Mount Kenya region, the leaders who were supposed to conduct that rally or to lead the rally are uh, people like uh, the former CS for agriculture, Peter Munya himself, who recently emerged into the political limelight once again after being inactive, after being so much dormant for a very long period of time. In fact, immediately, President William Ruto took over power officially as the President of the Republic of Kenya and he promised to lead the demonstration rallies uh, in the larger parts of the Mount Kenya region. Somebody like Honorable Martha Karua and also uh, the former Jubilee Party Secretary General, Jeremy Akioni himself. So those are the three people who are assigned the role of leading the rallies in the Mount Kenya region and they chose Mount Kenya East and they were supposed to conduct that rally in Meru County. But things did not go as it was expected because these three leaders, as Mulo Moja Alliance leaders, were chased away by angry road youths. I will just show you a clip here just for the proof of doubt. And you will clearly see Martha Karua and all those leaders forced to use a motorbike to escape. So in this video, I just want you to show, I just want to show you that clip and also tell you the real reasons as to why they were chased away by angry mob. So just look at this video first of all, then you proceed. <laughs> So the first reason as to why these leaders were actually chased by these youths and they were forced to use the motorbike to escape just like what you have just seen in that clip. It is because of bribery. According to the reports, ladies and gentlemen, the, these leaders were issuing out some money to the people so that they can attend their rally or the demonstration rallies. But the people became so much angry simply because some people had were given that money while others were denied. The truth of the matter is that the money being spent during that rally was not enough. And especially uh, this, the, this youths, these angry youths are actually border border guys. So, and you know how border border guys have their own unity. They can incite, they can decide if you can lead a rally or not because how they are basically so the lead them so the, the the youths who did not get that money started causing this chaos and because of the security issues that lady that, that that meeting or that rally did not actually occur and these leaders had to escape because of the angry mob the angry youths who resisted that they cannot conduct the rally in Mayor County. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, we have the former 
governor for Meru County, well known as Kiraitu Muriungi. I want you to realize that Kiraitu Muriungi was once as an Azimio Pomoja land supporter. In fact, I personally believe that Kiraitu Muriungi should have taken or should have won the governor seat for Meru County if he had supported President William Ruto. The reason as to why Kiraitu uh, Muriungi failed totally to clinch to that seat is basically because of supporting Raila Mololinka together with his party. So Kiraitu Muriungi has his, his own party called Pass Party. And immediately Raila Mololinka lost the previous 22 general elections. Kiraitu Muriungi was forced to uh, come back to President William Ruto and he is currently supporting the, the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance and the government. So there are these MCAs and also the supporters of Kiraitu Muriungi who ensured that Martha Karua will not conduct that rally there. That is why they faced that hostility from the crowd. So basically these are the kind of people who are supporting Kiraitu Muriungi and they ensured that Meru County will not be an Azimio Lomoja Alliance support base again. I want you to realize that the Azimio Lomoja Alliance have been struggling so much to at least get a larger support base, especially in the Mount Kenya region east, simply because they understand that there are some Meru County residents and leaders who are strongly supporters of the Azimio Lomoja Alliance, but it's just a section of them. So basically, Azimio faced that hostility simply because of that reason. And thirdly, ladies and gentlemen, it is because of resistance and rejection. The truth of the matter is that the Mount Kenya leaders are completely divided. And it's only a small section who strongly support Raila Moloding and the Azimio Lomoja Alliance. So this greater section of the Mount Kenya region leaders will not allow these uh, leaders who are supporting Raila Odinga to infiltrate the minds of the people. So the division is what is causing rejection. The truth of the matter is that Raila Odinga is still being rejected in the larger Mount Kenya region and it does not have that huge support. Each and every leader from the larger Mount Kenya region who is rallying support for Raila Odinga is still facing that rejection. And that is why Martha Karua, Peter Munya, and also Jeremy Kioni were chased out and still facing, they are still facing rejection up to date. In fact, if Martha Karua will vie for any seat, if Peter Munya will vie for any seat, if Jeremy Kioni will vie for any seat in the larger Mount Kenya region, when they are still in the Azimio Lomoja Alliance, they will definitely lose that political seat, that political contest. And that is why they cannot. Uh, commit themselves to make such a risk. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the kind of reasons as to why they faced the hostility from the larger parts of the Mount Kenya region. Otherwise, we saw some very ugly scenes during yesterday's demonstrations. I will still talk about in my next political analysis. Otherwise, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below after watching this video. Do support Mount Kenya region chasing away the Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders trying to conduct the demonstration rallies in that region. What can you say about yesterday's demonstration rallies? Because according to me, we are not heading into the right decision and Raila Odinga is really, really doing the wrong thing. I wish he should just listen to the majority of Kenyans. But I'll still talk about in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.